Good morning, I am Tracy Spence with your newscast. This newscast is brought to you courtesy of BioLife Energy Systems. Come join the living. Call them at 800-875-5433. USA Credit Repair, the key to beautiful credit. You may call them at 800-7861-330. And Cruising with the Case Handler, a show on personal injury and immigration weekdays 8.30 a.m. On Saturdays, 7 p.m. and 12 noon on Sundays. And Supreme Power Homes, call them at 800-927-5368. Now for the news in details. The Jamaican government has issued a strong warning to owners and operators of residential health care facilities that failure to comply with regulations and protocols related to COVID-19 by month end will result in prosecutions, closures and fines amounting to $1 million. Dr. Christopher Tufton, the Health and Wellness Minister. Parliamentary colleagues said if the health care facilities fail to comply by November 30, operators will be sanctioned under the Public Health Act over disaster risk management orders. The ministry has developed a protocol for environmental considerations for nursing homes and residential facilities, as well as a checklist for health care institutions and a self-assessment tool for public facilities and workplaces. In his presentation, Tufton also revealed that another 88 people have tested positive for COVID-19 at seven facilities operated by missionaries of the poor, including one of its monasteries. Jamaica's Minister of Science, Energy and Technology, Daryl Vaz, says that plans are being put in place to procure up to 268 megawatts of electricity generation from renewable sources by 2025. This includes energy from solar and wind technologies, with 70 megawatts from hydro, biomass and waste technologies. He was addressing the virtual meeting for the 12th Caribbean Renewable Energy Forum held recently. The renewable energy target is in keeping with the Integrated Resource Plan IRP, which is a 20-year roadmap for Jamaica's electricity investment landscape. It envisions that 33% of electricity generation by 2030 will be met from renewables and 50% by 2037. Currently, there are 17 utility-scale renewable energy projects in Jamaica. In 2019, a total of 473,601 megawatt-hours of electricity was generated from utility-scale renewable projects. Meanwhile, global card company MasterCard is working with its banking partners to implement money sending services in Jamaica utilizing its network. The mobile application will come online in 2021, according to Dalton Fowles, country manager for MasterCard in Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago. He added that it would meet all the regulatory guidelines and allow for transfers between all banking platforms, which is referred to in the industry as interoperability. MasterCard is deep in its operations in Jamaica's payments market at a time when the providers of mobile money services are struggling to get subscribers to hop on board. Falls acknowledged that local mobile wallets have not taken off but said the solution provided by MasterCard would provide further value by tapping into its global network. In sports, at least two members of the executive of the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association, J3A, believe that track and field administrators who are independently vying for positions at the upcoming elections can be successful if they run an effective campaign. Anthony Davis, Wayne Long and Donald Quarry have all indicated that they will be vying for the respective positions of Honorary Secretary, Director of Records and President without the backing of a team which is customary. Outgoing president of the association, Warren Blake, and second vice president, Lincoln Eatman, believes that it is possible for these candidates to be successful at the polls on November 28th. Blake said that all candidates will be given access to the voters' list once they have been officially nominated. Nomination for the elections will begin on November 7 and will be opened for two weeks. And that is it for the news. This newscast came to you courtesy of BioLife Energy Systems. Come join the living. Call them at 800-875-5433. USA Credit Repair, the key to beautiful credit. You may call them at 800-786-1330. Cruising with the Case Handler, a show on personal injury and immigration weekdays 8.30 a.m. on Saturdays 7 p.m. and 12 noon on Sundays. And Supreme Power Homes, call them at 800-927-5368. On behalf of the news and production team, I am Tracy Spence. Do have a good morning.